Hi guys, welcome to another lecture and today we'll be discussing something about N SOFA score, neonatal SOFA score. So previously we have discussed Q SOFA and SOFA scoring systems and today we'll be discussing about the N SOFA scoring system, neonatal SOFA scoring system. So SOFA stands for sequential organ failure, sequential organ failure assessment score. Okay, so N SOFA score is a N SOFA score is a age, sex, location, birth weight, birth weight independent, independent marker of patients in neonatal sepsis, which is only and only late onset sepsis. Okay, so it is used for the, um, you know, the prognostication of patients who are suffering from a late onset sepsis. As you know, the diagnosis, the, the definition of late onset sepsis is that the patient develops sepsis after 72 hours. It is usually due to horizontal transmission and it is mostly due to the iatrogenic or nosocomial infection. Okay, so this is the independent score in so far for late onset sepsis. And it can also be used in VLBW, ELBW children. Okay. So what are the scores of N SOFA? So they are, there are the scoring of N SOFA. The scoring of N SOFA can be divided into three parts. So first is respiratory criteria. Second is CVS criteria. And third is hematologic, hematologic criteria. Okay. So the criteria are as I showed you, you know, the three things, recipe, CVS and hematologic. Now in recipe, the scores are 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay. 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8. Okay. The scoring is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So in patients, who, uh, in which patients will we give zero score? So the patient is non-intubated. Patient is non-intubated. And uh, the SpO2, FiO2, it, the patient might also be intubated, but the SpO2, FiO2 ratio, SpO2, FiO2 ratio should be more than or equal to 300. As you know, SpO2, FiO2 ratio is also used in diagnosis of ARDS. So less than 200 is ARDS and uh, between 200 to 300 is actually acute lung injury Okay, or a risk of parts. So non-intubated or intubated, it does not matter. The, uh, the SpO2, FiO2 ratio should be more than or equal to 300. Okay. The next one is the score two in that is only in intubated rest. All three are in intubated only. Okay. Okay. So uh, the score of two, the SpO2, FiO2, SpO2, FiO2 is between 200 to 300. Okay. The score of four is given if the SpO2, FiO2 ratio is between uh, 150 to 200. And the score of six is given if the SpO2, FiO2 ratio is between 100 and 150 and less than ratio of 100 is the score of eight. Okay. The score is eight. So this is the first respiratory uh, you know, the respiratory criteria. The next one is the CVS criteria. In CVS criteria, the score is 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Even hematologic, it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Uh, only the even digits are used in respiratory. Rest all, it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 0 is the patient is not on inotropes. And there is no steroids given to the patients for catecholamine resistant septic shock. Now, in score of one, there is there is no inotropes and no systemic steroid. No systemic steroid. Okay. No 
no systemic steroid is given to the patient. Okay, for the score of two, for the score of two is one inotrope, one inotrope and no steroids. Okay, one inotrope and no steroids. For the score of three, it is more than or equal to two inotropes or one inotrope plus one steroid. Okay. And for the score of 4, more than or equal to 2 inotropes plus steroids is there in the diagnosis of score 4. Okay. Next, we'll go for hematologic. I'll write it down separately. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, in hematologic, the thing we see is platelet count. The platelet count is seen all in the scoring of hematologic. Only platelet count is seen. So, the score 0 is when the platelet count is more than 1,50,000 per cubic millimeter. The score of 1 is given when the platelet is between 1 lakh to 1.5 lakh. Uh, score of 2 is given when the score is 50,000 to 1 lakh. And the score of 3 is given if the platelets are less than 50,000. The score of 4 is not there. Score of 4 is not there in hematologic criteria. So, as you can see here, the scores of the patients with and so far, here are the scores. And the score range is 0 to, 0 to 15, while 0 being the best score, 15 being the worst score. Now, when we talk about inotropes, there are 6 types of inotropes. Uh, the inotropes that we are talking about, there can be 6 epi, norepinephrine. Dobutamine, dopamine, milrinone and vasopressin. Milrinone and vasopressin. Okay. So these are the six uh, out of this more than two. The two, the inotropes can be amongst these six. So I hope you learned something new today. This was the NSOFA score and the score range is between 0 to 15. So I hope you remember this. That's all for today, guys. And I will see you in the next one.